Hey everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm out in my Shagbark wood storage area and we got a delivery going on. I got Nate here helping me. We've already put some wood in the truck from uh, down in the driveway, but uh, I just want to show you the new modification on this Easton Made Ultra. I didn't know I was getting one and I got a package the other day. So if you watch my video on the other channel, you see, you see me open it in the unboxing. But Andrew Easton sent me a new push plate. It appears to be about two inches taller than the other one and about an inch wider. You'll have to ask Andrew for the exact specifications of it. But uh, we've uh, tested it out and so far, how'd you like it? Works, worked pretty good. Worked good. You know, and uh, it, what, it's, what it's best for is like the bigger pieces, when it hits it, it, can, uh, it doesn't flip over. And then we can, uh, you know, split one in half and then, uh, you put it on top of each other and send it through with it not going over the top of the plate. So uh, I, I was real excited to see that and I think it's going to help out a lot. You know, a lot of you guys have been saying that for years and you know what, Andrew Easton listens to his customers. They have great customer service and he went ahead and uh, made it bigger and then I don't know if he sent them to everybody or, or what the deal was, but uh, I got one. We're going to give you a little demonstration right now before we get eaten alive by the mosquitoes. They getting you, Nate? They are. All right. Let me, uh, let's put this on the tripod here. And Nate, if you would get like on that side so you're not blocking the, the view. And then I'll fire this up and I'll start splitting and you can, uh, you can throw them in there, all right? Sounds Sound good. like a plan? Should be warmed up. Those. Okay. So we'll try a big one first. I'm gonna work on this old pile. Herb just brought me some new stuff, so I want to get this old stock processed. They like it, like I say, they like it split big, but here we go. I, I don't think we can double that one up, it's too big. So, nice and smooth. Yeah, you should watch the unboxing video. My other channel, Joe's Firewood Videos. I uh, show you how to put that on. Another big one here. Look at that. Goes right through, and this is some really nice split stuff too. But we are using the, the single wedge because they want big pe bigger pieces. You got a four-way wedge for this too? What's that? You got a four-way wedge for this too? Yeah, yep. I use that mainly on pieces like what you brought me today, Nate. Stuff that's like smooth grain and then uh, like the 8 to 12 inch diameter range. Better hit this one again. Hey Nate, could you uh, move the camera over so it's like doing a side view? How's that look? You see the plate and the wedge? Good. Okay. What do you think, folks? Should I let Nate try it? Have Nate give it a shot? Nate rather uses a X27, or he's got the he's got the other big mall too, don't you? Yep, yep. You split most of your wood by hand. Uh, Ninety percent, yeah. Wow. Can we do a video of that someday? Sure. Are you splitting with the hand mall, hand wedge. Sure. And I'd like to come do a inventory video at your place sometime. Yeah. But today, this is a you know this is your Monday video. We're filming this on Friday. Um, after Nate and I deliver this, I'm heading into uh, Richland or Yorkville, Michigan, and I'm meeting Darren and we're delivering to another customer that's actually ordering winter wood. But it's too late to dry it, so I gotta bring him dry wood. Why don't you jump in there, Nate, work on that back roll. Let's, let's double this one up. Now look at that, the plate, no problem. 
Easy, easy, fella. Slippery when wet. I like how fast the return is on this. The return rate, yeah, yeah. like a, like probably two seconds. Oh. That one don't want to get split. And Nate also brought me a load of, uh, last night he brought me some regular hickory, and then he brought me a truckload of uh, summer camp wood for next year. So what do you think of it? How's it working for you? I like it. Like it, yep. Yeah, there's an automatic return, you don't have to hold it. Oh. Tom Waddle found that out the hard way. He kept holding it back. We'll give you one more angle, folks. Definitely pretty fast with two people. It does. And then someday I'm gonna have to get a video of you guys dropping trees. Yeah. We haven't been dropping a lot though. Yeah. Uh, the woods we've been working on is already been logged. Okay. This one kind of had a knot in it. Well, it's pushing through. Oh, that's some kindling. Missed that one, yeah. I think this piece you would have struggled with. You'd struggle with with a with a maul. A little bit. I did it. And uh, they're supposed to be ma making two, three other restaurants, two in Grand Rapids and one in Kalamazoo. If that happens, we're going to have to be delivering a truckload of this every week. Sounds like good business. Yep. But she called me, or texted me, and said they were low. I figured they were going to be out by the fourth, then hear nothing, you know. I can't do their job, too. I told him always to, always to give me a week's notice. Like she texts me on Wednesday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta keep her straight. Yeah, yeah, keep your hand on it. So don't roll. There you go, see? Now we can do that, that trick more often. You can start taking them from the front row now too. It looks like there's another naughty one in there. Now sometimes it rides up that wedge when it when it hits a knot in the middle. We're almost there. It's an oversized truckload, or Joe cord, trying to get rid of that oversized truckload term. The Joe cord. Uh, Nate's waiting to get a license plate for this, so he, li he likes he likes uh, keeping his tailgate down. So Brad doesn't pull him over, give him a ticket, at firewood at the furnace.
You get perfect blocks like these are, you get perfect pieces. Aren't these nice blocks though, Nate? They are. He's got a whole forest of these trees that he can cut down. Really? Probably like four acres. Grab the front row, front row. We'll keep the rows even, you know what I mean? Are they standing dead? Or are they still alive? They're de they're all alive. They're gonna, I, I guess, you know, when he takes them all down, then use it for farming. Okay. So hopefully they don't make them take them all down at once. This one we can double up. Keep your hand on the top. We'll get Nate to uh, talk more. Watch out for the knot, you know, try to, I'd hit it like right, you know, there. Oh, and Nate, uh, uh, somebody on Gun Lake, one of my loyal customers ordered two truckloads for next week. Right. I'll, ta I'll take a load of yours process, and then we'll load the second with my process, okay? Okay, what kind? Uh, summer camp, campfire wood. It went through that knot. If, and uh, last time when me and Herb delivered to them, they're supposed to help us, but I guess they're short-handed like every other restaurant. If uh, they don't help us, uh, I'm gonna pay you extra for, for the delivery. Cause I'm, gonna, Cause I'm gonna charge them more. Sounds good to me. Last time I ate it, they gave me a lot of free food, so I didn't I didn't press the issue. Well, I like free food too. You like food too? Oh yeah. Uh, and then, okay, yeah, see, when Darren and I went to Holland, he didn't want the food, he just wanted the money. Let's go ahead and hit that one tw twice. And so, they still haven't mailed me the check. The guy said he sent it out two weeks ago, but uh, we're gonna be getting there too early. The food's not gonna be ready yet. But next time we'll go a little bit later at 11 when they open and then I give them a discount, but they give me food. We're almost there. Hit that one again. Cause I'm not gonna go high, as high on, on the middle because we got all this in the back. I missed that, what'd you say? I said I, I'm not going as high, you know, as a work because of the stack on the back. Right. Probably gonna double that one. That you think gonna be that, so we're not saving that much time. got a nice headache rack so I don't have to worry about breaking the glass. Let's try to double this one. Is it too big? Nope. Hey. That, I'd say that's good. That can go. Gonna have to adjust that one. That one might fall off. I'd say this one and one more, and I think we're good. All right. Well, might as well just keep the video going for the people that like the long videos.
Yeah, get a little, get a smaller one on top. Yeah, that one right there. I gotta consider too that where this is at, you know. Okay, it'll burn, it'll make smoke. All right, there's a joke cord, so when you bring me that campfire wood, make it look like this, okay? Sure thing. We'll go ahead and uh, shut this off. I'll show you how much we got in there. You want me to take the splitter up top? All right, yeah, hold on. Usually I like to shut the gas off for a second, let it clean out the carburetor. Then I slow down on the throttle about halfway, then hit the kill switch. So let's, I'll show you the load. This is going up to Grand Rapids, Michigan, or Kentwood. I'd say it's about a 10 foot by four foot stack once unloaded, you know, Joe cord. So, all right guys, thanks for watching this. I'm sure we're gonna have plenty more videos with that new push plate. We'll have to try it with the four way. Uh, we, me and Nate got to hit the road, get out, get away from these mosquitoes. So I hope you guys, you know, send some thanks to, to Andrew Easton for, for sending me that. So, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good week. Bye, Bye. Nate.